it's actually shocking to see some fundamental science coming from MIT. <laughs> I know Caltech is is more well known for that, but yeah, yeah. Uh, credit where credit is due. Uh, famous double slit experiment holds up when stripped of its quantum essentials. MIT physicists confirm that, like Superman, light has two identities that are impossible to see at once. We're basically finding out that like the world really is quantum. Okay. And um, and it's it's really a confirmation on something that we already knew. Yep. But it's an incredible experiment mm -hmm. um, in its own right. So that's that's why I really loved it. Yeah. So the idea is the double slit experiment. It's something that um, sort of confirms this duality, this wave and particle picture of light. Back in 1801, Thomas Young, he has a horizontal slit in this direction. And then here he's got two slits, one up and one down here. Mm -hmm. We've got a light source. And then if I have a detector, then I'm going to see two lumps of right. if it's a particle. If it's a wave, on the other hand, it's going to create an interference pattern. Right. Okay. Then comes the quantum revolution. We start understanding that light might actually be a particle. What if I made the light source so dim that only a single photon ever went through? Okay. Even if I do a single photon, it somehow splits, interferes with itself, mm. which already yeah. you're like, what? Next obvious question is to be like, okay, which slit did it go through? Well, if we start attaching detectors on the slits, then it becomes a particle again. And we see two lumps. We don't see the interference pattern. Okay. Right. We have two <laughs> slits. Yeah. We have one singular photon. Yeah. We're sending it towards those two slits. Yeah, which one did it go through? And which one did it? Like, and it's like, don't ask, <laughs> right? And Einstein's like, bro, this is our job as physicists. What are we talking about? If we can't, like, and so what these guys at MIT did yeah. was okay. So w when we get into that slit problem, right? The photon's momentum is very small mm -hmm. compared to even if I have a one, one gram thingy. Mm -hmm. The idea is we were doing this at larger scales at before. Large, the slit is massive. And we're just saying, if we go really, 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 really small, you decrease the, 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 the band yes. of, of the possible error. And if I figure out which way did it go, does it really destroy the interference pattern, right? Because right. that's what quantum mechanics says. Right. Quantum mechanics says that no matter how I'm, how small I make the slit, if I try to cheat yes. and get information about yes. which way it went, I'm going to destroy the interference pattern. Right, okay. That's what these guys found. They made slits out of single atoms. They suspended these atoms in a light beam. You can do that now. Um, and then you can have now single photons move through. Yeah, yeah. And they'll interact with the atoms yeah, yeah. and then create my interference, interference pattern. pattern. And then what I can do is I can turn off the light and then have the interaction like a microsecond later. So like I can like in principle figure out which atom moved more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then be like, oh, it was that one. Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden the interference pattern disappears, right? I mean, like Einstein and Bohr would couldn't even dream of, of this kind of experiment, right? right? Where single atoms are now my slits. Right. 